Welcome to Scripture Study, The Power of the Word, where we take a look at different ways we can study Scripture and gain more out of them. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a specific Scripture study tool. And the one that we're going to consider today is pray for understanding and learn to listen to the Lord's answers. President Howard W. Hunter when he was a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, said, There is nothing more helpful than prayer to open our understanding of the Scriptures. Through prayer, we can attune our minds to seek the answers to our searchings. The Lord said, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Herein is Christ's reassurance that if we seek, ask, and knock, the Holy Spirit will guide our understanding if we are ready and eager to receive. So a critical part of our scripture study has to be prayer. Pray for the Holy Ghost to touch your heart, to enlighten your understanding. Now a part of that is receiving answers. How do I know what I'm praying about and the answers I receive are correct? Probably one of the greatest questions, most often asked question, asked me as a seminary teacher, Brother Clough, how do I know if it was from the Holy Ghost? Well... Here is how we can know. I'm going to give you three ways the scriptures teach us. As we pray for understanding and learn to listen to the Lord's answers, how do I know if the answer is from him? Number one, here are some functions of the Holy Ghost. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 23 states, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, which is voluntary humility, temperance, which is self-restraint or self-control. Against such there is no law, meaning there is no condemnation for possessing these. So when you pray and you have or cause to be or do one of the following, then you what you're praying about is from the Holy Ghost. So as I pray, if I feel peace, we cannot produce peace on our own. That is a gift of the Spirit. So if I feel calm and peaceful, then I know it's from the Holy Ghost. If it causes me to have joy in my life, it's from the Holy Ghost. If it causes me to love more those whom I should love, maybe especially those whom I don't want to love, if it causes more love in my heart, then it's from the Holy Ghost. If I have better, more long-suffering, if I'm more gentle, if it causes more goodness, if I have more faith, the ability to do what God wants, when He wants, and how He wants, then it's from the Holy Ghost. Meekness. I just voluntarily choose to be humble and follow and submit to the will of God. So if you have any of those, and they don't all have to be a feeling, can cause you to do something, okay? Do not misunderstand. It doesn't have to be just a feeling. A lot of times it's not. If you have any of those, then it's from the Holy Ghost. Another function of the Holy Ghost is Doctrine and Covenants, section 8, verse 2. It says, Yea, behold, I will tell you in the, your mind and in your heart by the Holy Ghost, which shall come upon you and which shall dwell in your heart. So this is telling us that as long as your mind and your heart is in sync. Have you ever had a time where you felt something was right, but in your mind there was just confusion? Well, that's not from the Holy Ghost. Or in your mind it sounds logical, but your heart it just doesn't feel right. Well, that's not from the Holy Ghost. Your mind and your heart will come together and be at peace. Mind and heart. So that's another way you can tell it's from the Holy Ghost. If your mind and your heart are different, then it's not of God. Run from it, get away. A third one is Moroni chapter 7, verse 13. But behold, that which is of God inviteth and enticeth to do good continually. Wherefore, everything which inviteth and enticeth to do good and to love God and to serve him is inspired of God. So, your answer to your prayer, or what you're praying about, does it entice and invite you to do good, to love God, and to serve him? If it is, then that is from God. 
Does it cause you to do good? Yes, then that's from the Holy Ghost. Does it cause you to come closer to Christ and our Father in Heaven? Then that's from the Holy Ghost. Does it cause you to serve him, which we know is also serving our fellow man? Does it cause you to do that? Then that is from the Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, those are three ways on which we can know if our answers are from God or just from myself. One, do they meet those gifts of the Spirit in Galatians? Two, your mind and your heart will be together. They'll be in sync. And number three, does it invite or entice you to do good, love God, or serve Him? I promise you, follow those, and you will always know and receive answers from the Holy Ghost. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the, uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel.